this is Joanna and welcome back to another video for the alleyway stamps and today I'm using this really cute and happy alien from from phone home and I'm stamping him in memento ink because I'm going to do some copy coloring and also I'm going to color him him with distress ink and I'm just using some post-it tape to create the mask and I will only use a mask for the mouth the eyes and the horns so I will only cut those out and I will just put them on the cute little alien and now it's time to color him in and I'm using distress ink to color in the body and uh, the orange one is, uh, must, is spiced marmalade and the yellow one is mustard seed and I really enjoy working with distress ink and they blend really good together and another thing that I really love is that this uh, takes uh, no time at all to do, it's really fast. If, if I was coloring this guy with my Copics, it would have taken me much, much longer. And then I just store these uh, masks on the back side of my Avery L pocket, the one that I store the stamp set in, so I can use them for another project. And I also used some Copics uh, just to color in the smaller, um, the tongue and the eyes and the horns, just to shade them a little bit. So this was the main reason that I used my Memento ink, because it works really good with Copics. And then I just cut my alien out. And as usual, I used my Copic marker to paint in the edges, the white on the edges, uh, because then it's look, he looks finished and uh, it looks like I've cut him out perfectly. And I always paint from the back side because if I slip, uh, I slip on the back side so I don't ruin my image. And now it's time to create this. This is uh, supposed to look like a sheet from a notepad. So I'm just starting out using my pencil and my T-square ruler and I'm marking out uh, where half of an inch is and then I just use a really small hole punch to punch out the holes. And there, there are dies that you can buy that look like this but I don't have uh, that kind of die uh, so I just decided to create my own today. And, to, and then I just used my, uh, my eraser to erase the pencil lines that was showing. And uh, I want to have equal uh, amount of white on each side, so I just used my, my paper trimmer to cut, uh, cut it down to size. And to make it look like a sheet from a notepad, I use my scissors also. And then uh, as a finished touch, I use my corner jumper to round the edges. So this is, uh, this is the way that you can create your own um, sheet. Um, of course it's easier if you have the die, but I don't have the die, so <laughs> this also works. And now I'm going to create a background for the little alien. So I'm uh, cutting a hillside from a post-it tape. And I'm just deciding where I want the, uh, the sky to start. And I'm using Distress Ink to create the sky and the ground. And this is uh, the lightest dist Distress Ink that I have. This is Tumbled Glass. And I'm using my Mini dis Distress Tool again. And in circular motions, I'm just lightly pressure, uh, and with the light pressure, I apply the color. And then to create the ground, I'm using the other piece, the leftover piece, and I'm just placing it on top where the sky is. And 
And this is a little bit tricky <laughs> to get it in the, in the right place. And then yes, to protect my sky, I'm using the other pieces as well. And I wanted a light, uh, a light ground, so I'm using, this is um, Shabby Shutters, the Distress Ink. So I'm, I, I will use another color later on because this uh, didn't turn out really well, but um, for now I'm just applying the, the ink. And here I'm testing it with my Alien, and I think that the background is a little bit too plain. So I'm going back again, and this time I'm, uh, I use the same mask, of course, and uh, I use a different kind of green. I'm using Mowed Lawn instead. This is a brighter green. And I'm starting off uh, on the uh, masking paper to make sure that uh, I can get a really good blend. And this looks much better, I think. But I accidentally smeared on the top, so I'm trying to erase it, but uh, I can't do that, so I have to figure something out to cover that boo-boo I made. And now that the ground are so vibrant, I want the sky to be a little bit more vibrant as well. So I'm just taking my tumbled glass again and I'm applying some more ink. And to cover up my boo-boo, I'm using uh, some dyes from Simon Says Stamped, some cloud dyes, to add some cl clouds to the sky. And I'm adhering them with my ATG. And the clouds are cut out of Nina Solo White, the same cardstock as I used to create this sheet from uh, this sheet, this notepad sheet. And then I just use a scissor to cut the, to cut the excess off. But I won't throw them away, I will use them on my sheet as well. And they have already adhesive on them, so I just put them in place. And now the clouds are in place, so I'm putting my little alien in place and I'm using my 3M foam tape. And I love this tape, uh, it's so easy to work with, you can just tear it off and you can cut it down to size. And the backing sheet is also really easy to pull off. So I'm just pressing him in place. And uh, of course, I have to use my Wink of Stella. Uh, I think I'm addicted to my Wink of Stella. I think I have issues, but <laughs> it gives such a subtle shimmer and I love using it. So yeah, I do. I use it a lot. And I will also use my white gel pen uh, to add some interest to his eyes, uh, but I ended up not liking this, so I will, uh, I will fix that later in the video. And now it's time for the sentiment, and I'm using uh, the sentiment, it says, Your, You brighten my day, and it's from More Than Words. And this was just a happy fluke that it fit on my uh, my note sheet here because I didn't plan this card uh, uh, I didn't plan this card out. I, kn I knew I was uh, I, I, I wanted to use this cute alien and I wanted to create a notepad, but yeah, that's about it. So, uh, but th this was a really lucky for me because it fit perfectly. So it looks like I've planned this out really carefully, but uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't. And here I am just uh, pressing it down with my Versamark and I'm using my stem press. And I used my anti-static tool there earlier just to, just to avoid getting any white strays from the embossing powder. And then I use my heat tool to melt the powder.
And of course, it would have been easier to create the sentiment first and then add the alien, but uh, well, I didn't plan ahead as I told you, so that's why it's a little bit backwards in this video. And then I used this really bright pen and paper to add some interest to the background. And to mimic the notepad sheet, I'm using my corner jumper again to round the bottom corners. And then I use my big roll of foam tape again to adhere the note sheet to the card. And if you are interested in any of the supplies that I used in this video, they are listed over at my blog. And you will find that address in the YouTube description down below. And uh, after the video was done, I added some glossy accent to the alien's eyes as well. And here I'm just removing that little bit of white gel pen that I added earlier, and uh, he looks uh, much better, I think. And this was the card for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.